Hello BTEC musicians, Mr McCarrick from Thomas Tallis School here. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about your BTEC Level 2 Music Unit 1 exam, which is called the Music Industry. I'm going to be giving you an overview of the exam, showing you what the exam looks like, and also going through some sample questions and answers, and some tips on how to answer those questions successfully. I'll start with showing you the exam paper itself. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. It very clearly says music, unit one, the music industry, and at the top there are spaces for you to write your name, your centre number, and your learner registration, which you will need to do in black pen. It also tells you that the exam is one hour long. Once you've completed the front cover, open up the exam paper, and you'll see section A. Section A requires you to answer all questions. Now do remember that you only have 60 minutes for this exam. So you must try not to spend too long on one question. Of course, give it some thought, but if you get stuck on a question, what I would suggest is that you do a little cross or a little circle or a dot beside that question and move on to the next one. Then once you've completed section A, you can go back over the section. Anything that you've got a little mark against, you can try that question again. And this will save you time in the exam. So let's have a look at that first question. It's a multiple choice question, which is fairly straightforward. You just have to choose which answer corresponds to the question. So the question says, which of the following is the responsibility of a producer? So the first thing to think about is what are the responsibilities of a producer? Well, a producer works in a recording studio. They work alongside musicians. They work alongside studio engineers and they work alongside record labels. So they work with quite a lot of different people. So if we look at the different answers we have here, we've got A, identifying performance opportunities, B, liaising between creative partners, C, managing marketing materials, and D, managing publicity for events. So we know that a producer works with lots of different people in lots of different roles. So I think liaising between creative partners looks like the most obvious answer there. We can also see a blue arrow at the bottom of that question, and that points down to one mark. And in every question, you will find that the marks are in brackets. <clears throat> so it might say one mark, or it might just say the number two or the number four. And that tells you how many marks the question is worth and how many points you have to make in order to achieve full marks. So let's have a look at questions two and three. Question two and three, both are multiple choice again. Question two says, which one of the following could describe a smaller record label? So the question is quite specific. So if we look through the answers, we have A, broadcaster. Well, we know a broadcaster is not part of a record label. B is independent. Well, there are independent record labels, so that's a possible contender for our answer. C says major. So we know there are also major record labels. So that's another contender for our answer. D says management, and management is not part of a record label, so it won't be A or D. So we're left with B or C, and as the question specifically asks for the smaller record label, we know it's going to be independent, which is answer B. If we go on to our next question, question three, it says identify the job role responsible for the health and safety of performers in a theatre. And for our answers, it gives us a list of four different types of manager. An artist manager, a marketing manager, a studio manager, and a venue manager. So again, we have to go back to the question. Look at what it's asking us to show. And it's asking us to show the job role that's responsible for the health and safety of performers in a theatre. Now, which of those four answers applies directly to a theatre? Um, well, a theatre is what? A theatre is a place where performances take place, where acting takes place, where we see people on stages. So a theatre is essentially a venue. So we have to look through our answers and find if any one of those relates to a venue. And if we look at answer D, it says venue manager. And I've done a line between venue and theatre to show that there's a connection between those. 
you will often find with these type of questions that there is a direct relationship between the wording of the question and the wording of the answer. So let's move on to question five. Question five says, which one of the following organisations supports lighting and sound technicians? Now, this is one of those questions where the answer has been shortened down to an abbreviation. So the initials of the organisation, a little bit like MU, which equals Musicians Union, or National Insurance, which is always shortened to NI. So my tip here is to look at those initials. So this is a typical question and some organisations shorten their names to letters. If you don't know the answer, try looking at the initials of the area of the industry the organisation is supporting. So in this case, L for lighting and S for sound. And then look at the answers to see which has both letters. So if we look over to the answers to see which one has an L and an S, we can clearly see that C has P-L-A-S-A. None of the others have an L and an S. And number C, sorry, answer C, is the Professional Lighting and Sound Association. So even if you don't really know the answer, you can have an educated guess by looking at those initials and seeing if those initials appear in the answer. So they were multiple choice questions. Let's now move on to a different type of question. If we look at question nine, it says artists sometimes give away promotional CDs. Identify two other products that an artist might give away for free to promote a performance. If we look at the bottom right, we'll see a blue arrow that points to the two marks. So this question is worth two marks, which means you have to make two points. You don't have to give any explanations to those points. You just have to make two fairly straightforward points of uh, some products that an artist might give away for free. So I've highlighted the word free and I've highlighted the phrase promote a performance because that's what the question is asking us to do. So what might an artist give away for free? Um, well, this is a performance and they might want people to come to that performance. So they might want a record producer to come or a manager or a promotion team or another musician to come along and see them. So the first thing I would think about them giving away is a ticket to the concert. So for your first answer, you could just write tickets to the performance. There could be other answers as well, but I think that's a fairly uh, good suggestion. Um, you've got to come up with one other thing that they could give away. What might an artist give away for free to promote a performance? Um, well, there could be lots of things, but maybe t-shirts, maybe a digital download, maybe a DVD, anything that they can give away that would encourage people to come along to the performance. One thing you should be aware of is that your answers need to contrast each other. So there will be no point in saying answer one, a t-shirt, and answer two, a hat, because they're both forms of merchandise. And we're looking for two different items that could be given away for free. So that was a fairly straightforward two mark question where you had to make two points. The next question, question 11, says explain one reason why a venue needs a risk assessment. Now they're asking for one reason, but it's a two mark question. So to get both marks, you need to identify a reason and explain or expand upon that reason. So let's think of a reason why a venue might need a risk assessment. And that reason might be to make sure the venue is safe for the performers and the audience. The reason why that would be important is so that nothing poses a risk to the performers or the audience while they're inside the venue. So your answer to the question, explain one reason why a venue needs a risk assessment, might be to make sure the venue is safe for performers and audience so they are not at risk while in the venue. And that will get you both of those marks. Remember, you have to identify a reason and explain that reason. There are several answers that you could come up for this question. So another reason that a venue might need a risk assessment is to make sure that they have well-marked fire exits so that people can get out safely in an emergency. So the important thing here is always to remember to identify your reason and then expand upon that or explain the reasoning behind your answer. 
So I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you and that it's given you an insight into what to expect in your exam on the music industry.